بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم peace be with you all and peace be on Palestine since 1948 life is possible only through hope and the Palestinians are hopeful so they are alive they have to be. They have no choice as we know that. And the hopeless are already dead. The Palestinians are hopeful, so they are alive. We have to prove for ourselves the same. Are we alive? Yes, we are because we are here this morning because we are hopeful. Believing that the false dawn around our horizon will become a, a true dawn. Believing that we are here to write on this place with our blood, with our conscience, something for the history, it will never be wiped out because we are going to write it on the page of our heart. And what is that? The final victory will be not for the strongest, but for those who are right. And the Palestinians are right because they are in their hometown and they are not fighting the Israelis or the Jewish. They are fighting for their freedom. And anyone who is fighting them, they are the enemies. The Australians did it against the Japanese. The Americans did it against the British. The Africans did it against the French and so on. And when the Australians did it, all those who died, they call them the heroes. When the Americans did it, all those who died, they call them the heroes. The same media, the same people, they are telling the Palestinians who are dying, they call them terrorists. Why? They are fighting for their freedom. In another word, I was asked to be here this morning under what name, with no name, the Imams of Australia. And Imams mean the Muslim uh, society leaders who are guiding the community, how to be good human being to mankind and how to be good human being to God Almighty. The one who will inherit the lands we are fighting for, the places we are fighting for. In the end of the day, we all came into this world to live once, only once. And we have only one chance to prove that we are good. Some are doing that and some are not. But in the end of the day, we will leave this universe the way we came into it. But some people will leave this universe and enter the history of eternity from the white, bright door. They will go back to God clean and some they will leave this universe going into the life of eternity dark eternity from the dark door and these are the people who do wrong to other nations injustice is rejected by all human culture and the truth said leave me naked i'm not ashamed the truth about Palestine now is very naked. Everybody knows it. It is a long history. It was a promise from Belfer to the Jewish that they will have a land. And they gave them Palestine. It is a naked truth. We all know it. And the hope that we are talking about, every student, tell our teachers, stop wasting time. Tell us the truth. Every employer or employee,
tell your employer, stop wasting time, tell us the truth. When we meet anyway, let us make the story of Palestine our story. Because a day will come, we as believers, Muslims, Christians, Jews, and so on, you will be questioned one day by your Lord. I was, you gave me no food. I was, you gave me no water. I was homeless, you gave me no shelter. I was sick, you didn't visit me. This is the language of our heart. This is the language of the table we want to remain up. And that is the table of the humanness. It has been vandalized by drunks. And the human right we are talking about always and waiting for its birth. That pregnancy has been aborted. But hope will always remain the candle guiding us towards the bright day, the bright future. But don't forget one thing. As I said to you last time about what Victor Ego said, freedom will never come down on us. We have to rise up to it. And freedom is something that we have to struggle for before we can enjoy it. The man of peace, which is famous around the world, Gandhi, whose article was, he used to say, non-violence is the first article of my faith, and it is also the last article of my creed. What he said at the same time, I would rather live as a slave, fighting for my freedom, than live as a free, living like a slave. This is a man of peace saying this. And we have the chance truly to demonstrate our life. We have the chance to say once and for all, no to injustice. And that is the purpose of education. If our education is only telling us, study hard because you want a good job, have a beautiful life. What is a beautiful life? It is when we live for others. If we close our eyes, by the time we open it, if they finish the Palestinians, which they will never we are next. It has nothing to do with religion anymore. It is to do with humanness. And anyone who makes a human being their target, they will never stop until they are stopped. Who will stop them? It is this type of gatherings. We have been waiting for the politicians who have the power. But we are realizing they don't have power because they are slaves to another politicians. But the mass is the power. We can do it only when we remember one thing. It is to do with human being now. It is to do with every individual. It is to do with what are you going to do about it. One of the sayings that was said by Napoleon Bonaparte, of course on his way to war, trust in God, but keep your gunpowder dry. We trust in God. And I can say, the citizens of the world is the gunpowder of Palestine today. We have to remain dry. The same man used to say, Le protection de Dieu est toujours avec le grand bataillon. The protection of God always with the biggest team. If you are strong, you win. If you are weak, you lose. But we say no. The only way to be a powerful human being is to make sure that you are right. Because if you are wrong, you are defeated already inside you, and you know it. But if you are right, the whole world will be with you. With this hope, 
We will never stop. We, will, we want to stay under the spot light of life. As you know the story, life is like a party. Everybody is invited. Some people, they come late. Some people, they leave early before the party is ended. And some people, they stay until the end. We want to stay until the end. And what is the end? We want to see Palestine free. And while the party is on, And when the party is on, and when the party is on, some people are under the spotlight. We call them the stars. Everybody else are there to watch them. And some people in the dark side of the area. We want to remain under the spotlight of this world. And what is that? Get together and make noise together. If we get together and say what we want, we will be heard. And remember what you heard in the beginning in the audio? Wayne, 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 Wayne al-Shaab al-Arabi, Wayne al-Balayin. Where are those millions who claim to be human beings? Where are you? Look what is happening to your brothers and sisters. Where are prove it you are a human being? It is beyond the Arab nation now. It is to do with all human society. This is a candle of hope we will follow every day until we see the final victory that will be for the righteous people. Thank you for coming again, and God will bless you all. And keep crying, free, free Palestine. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you. Words of wisdom. This is what we're looking for. And as he said, it's about doing